I was not expecting the outpour of anger and rage towards music distributors. I did a video talking about an issue that I'm having right now on behalf of one of my clients and kind of this more wide conversation on music distributors who are the gatekeepers. They're the ones that send your music to music platforms. And if you don't go through a distributor, you don't get to have your music on Spotify and all the places. And as a music attorney, my office gets hired because if you get locked out of your distribution account and you have unpaid royalties, we need to go and demand that those monies be released to you because they're yours. And with the TuneCore situation, this was the first time that I had a music distributor not only tell me that they're not going to pay the tens of thousands of dollars in royalties that are lawfully supposed to be paid to our clients, but that despite us citing to relevant controlling law that says if you just take someone else's money and it doesn't actually cover any kind of damage, you haven't been sanctioned by Spotify, that wasn't even a thing at the time that this all happened, and TuneCore's like, no, 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 your client's a big fraudster. He didn't actually get all of these streams, and so because of that, he's violated our terms of service, and pursuant to our terms of service, we can just take his royalties. And not only can we just take his royalties, but it literally says in the terms of service, TuneCore can give it to a third party. You can just give someone else my royalties. And again, that's if there is a claim that there's been fake streams, if there's been copyright infringement or trademark infringement or any of these things. So you're telling me you don't even have to prove it. And besides being outraged on behalf of my clients, I have been an independent artist for a long time. And my entire mission with my Top Music Attorney YouTube channel is to empower artists to protect themselves and to not get taken advantage of by these predatory practices in the music business. And I guess I'm just thinking, I'm like, you know, I don't know. I haven't read all the terms of service for all the music distributors. I'm hyper-focusing on TuneCore because this is the company that I'm dealing with right now. But the reality is that with hundreds of thousands of artists and taking their royalties, that really is kind of a side hustle for TuneCore, right? Think about it all together, like how much money is that? That is never actually making it to the artist because they just get locked out of their account. And in the case of our client, he's paid over the course of several months a lot of money in legal fees. Now granted, we got a response, we got TuneCore on the phone, all just to have them say, no, we think your client is a fraudster. And in fact, they actually called him a scumbag. And I'm just sitting there on this phone call and I'm just like, I've done this for almost 10 years. And I deal with attorneys and I deal with difficult situations all the time. And I've never had someone just to be like, out of my sense of personal ethics, I'm not gonna release the funds to your client. And I'm like, even if what you're saying is true, and if you guys, you know, go back to the other video I showed you, you know, our client paid like 25 grand in Facebook ads, and then there was a huge spike in traffic. He had like 19, you know, millions, almost 20 million people who saw his ads and impressions and the amount of like 161 million. And so just being like, look, you're saying all of this stuff, you haven't produced any actual documents. You haven't even produced applicable terms of service. And you're also just blatantly insulting our client. And you're like, he's not a real artist. I go, says who? There's incredible artists who make all kinds of very unique niche kind of music, even stuff where it's like sleepy time music and they're, you know, ambient music. And so I'm just not even going to get into the conversation of like what is defined as music or who's a real artist, but like we even played that game. And we went down the rabbit hole and we showed, you know, stuff to prove that our client is a real artist, you know, screenshots of like his social media. He buys his beats, he invests in marketing, but artists shouldn't have to do that to get their royalties. Music distributors are glorified banks. If you're Wells Fargo, you don't get to be like, hmm, you know what? I feel like Crystal did something unethical today. And so I'm just going to write it into my terms. And so it says, you know what? If I think Crystal did something that's unethical or wrong or violates the terms of Spotify's, you know, platform, then I, Wells Fargo, I'm just going to take all the money in Crystal's account. And I might not even put it in my own pocket. I might send it over to Bank of America. My call to action in the last video was just to say that, you know, for so many people who maybe have a good experience with TuneCore, right? And they're like, I had good customer service. They distributed my music. Like, I'm, I'm not trying to bash anything like that. I'm just saying as it relates to this specific issue. And now my personal experience, having gone through it, read the terms of service, looked at the applicable New York law and found that pursuant to New York law, what they are doing 
is in my opinion, unlawful that those terms of service have to change because not only are artists required and forced to have to upload their music through a music distributor to even get it on music platforms, but then by doing that, you have to agree to the terms of service. And I think that music distributors are in a position where they have to be looking out for the artists and not just for themselves. There shouldn't be just a money-making opportunity. Now, what I did say is I go, look, in a contract, in the terms of service, if, if you know, now Spotify is going to be imposing sanctions. And so if a distributor gets a sanction from Spotify because an artist pays for fake streams, then fine. I think it would be fair and appropriate for TuneCore or any applicable music distributor to take from the royalties in that artist's account for the fine that they incurred because of the artist. But anything above and beyond that, particularly when there's zero damages, is unreasonable, it's unjust, and I think it's unlawful. I appreciate all the feedback that you guys have been giving because I know not all of you use TuneCore and some of you have had great experiences with different distributors and some of you haven't had very good experiences at all. And it's helpful for me even to get a wider pool of those experiences. So keep leaving your comments. I'll respond to as many of you as I can. And I think that if we make enough noise that maybe, just maybe, we can get these music distributors to fix their terms of service and to do right by artists. I'm always here for you. I got your back. That's why I do this channel. So be sure to subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm top music attorney, Miss Crystal.